What's up, everybody? Big Dane back at it again for the Crypto Great Dane Physical Bitcoin channel. And today we're talking about the Satori chip and the Satori Bitflyer chips. Uh, the Satori chip's so rare, you might not even know what I'm talking about. But we're going to go through some pictures, some history, talk about everything you need to know about the Satori chips, and give you a look at those Bitflyer chips, which you'll probably never see again because they are extremely rare. So the Satori chip came out in 2016. Uh, it was the brainchild of two brothers, um, Motonori Khan and his brother Yoshi Khan. They were executives at a Japanese importing company called Raimu Inc. And um, they were into Bitcoin. Uh, they first got into it from reading the book uh, Jekyll, I Man from Jekyll, I Creature from Jekyll Island. Uh, they believed in the concept. They wanted to spread the word of Bitcoin to everybody, but without having to uh, have people have to lay out a large amount of investment, they wanted it to be a simple process. So they attempted to do the first Japanese ATM machine. Uh, I don't know how that came out, but it wasn't, it, the Japanese people didn't really take to it. You got to remember, this is eight years ago. Uh, Bitcoin was a very new concept at the time. So they came out with the Satori chip. The Satori chip, even if you don't, um, aren't into physical Bitcoin, you may have seen this chip around. It's probably one of the most recognizable physical Bitcoins out there with its orange and white casino style poker chip with the hologram on the back. It's a beautiful chip. Okay. And the only chip, the only casino style chip out there back in 2016 was the BTCC. So at the new, at this time back then in 2016, it was a relatively uh, new style of chip. So it took off. They made quite a bit. Um, we're going to go through it. We're going to show you some pictures of the Satori chip as well as the Bitflyer collection. Uh, go over some of the numbers and uh, where these are at today. Um, so hang in there. We're going to go through it. Uh, we're going to give a special shout out real quick before we do that. Kim L., she was the one, or he, was the one who won uh, the first Crypto Great Dane giveaway with Krogoff Manhattan in my last video. So a uh, big shout out to Kim. Congratulations. Probably going to be doing some more giveaways I love to give away some physical Bitcoin, some awesome coins out there in future videos. So um, let's get ready to dive in. We're going to take a look at these Satori chips, okay? Thanks. <laughs> so we're taking a look here at the Satori chip. Uh, this is a picture of the main Satori chip, okay? And this is what we'll be talking about first. Uh, the Satori chip, uh, like we said earlier, was made in 2016. Uh, there was a total number of Satori chips, 50,500 Satori chips made. And that's a, a large number of chips, quite an investment these guys made uh, from the get-go uh, getting these things out there. And, uh, you know, like we were talking about in the beginning, these guys wanted to spread this to the world. This was their goal to, like, spread this out. So they put a sizable investment in and um, loaded up with 50,000 of these things, okay? And they were spreading these things all over Japan. So here is a picture. I thought this was super cool. This is probably the first and only physical Bitcoin vending machine out of Japan, right? And you can see the Satori chips in there in the little balls uh, and looks like 500 yen, you put it in and you would get your Satori chip. Okay. Very cool. I'm not sure how many of these were around Japan and, you know, uh, but here's a picture of what one looked like. Now you got to keep in mind. Now these Satori chips, they had a total of 0 0.001 Bitcoin on them at the time. So when these were being sold to the public, 50 cents, that's all these Satori chips had on them, 50 cents of Bitcoin. So it was a really easy way to uh, get involved in Bitcoin and you didn't have to worry about, you know, any of the other stuff that people worry about when they're doing physical Bitcoin or Bitcoin in general, you know, there wasn't a, a lot to worry about. So uh, that's a look at um, the Satori chip, how they were sold. Now they were also sold like this uh, by way of the roll. 
Okay, I don't know how much these went for back in the day, but at 50 cents a chip, probably a dollar, two bucks a piece, uh, you know, and they would sell these 20 rolls. I mean, you're probably looking like $30 or something, maybe even less. I don't know. But they were sold in rolls. They were sold in the machine all over Japan. Now, uh, something else, these, these coins are all... These chips are all labeled with uh, the numbers on them. They have, you can see the serial numbers were put right on the Satori uh, coins. Now, there's a point in the middle here at chip number 30,500. So all the chips before 30,500, we refer to as the pre-fork coins, the ones after post fork, okay? And that's because the pre fork coins also have Bitcoin cash on these coins. So uh, you'll see this as people are selling these. They'll, you know, you'll hear the question, oh, is this a pre fork or post fork coin? And that is important to know because, um, you know, pre fork would be more money on there. So, that's an important thing to ask when you're purchasing a Satori chip is, is it pre-fork or post-fork? Uh, another important point is the serial number uh, level, okay? And the reason for that is there's kind of like a, you know, a, like a contest out there. Find the lowest uh, Satori chip or find the highest Satori chip. So if you were to say have a, Satori chip with a hundred on it, or 120, even a thousand, two thousand, uh, that would warrant a that would warrant a different uh, amount of money. It would increase the value significantly for that chip. Okay, I wanted to read this to you. This is the Satori, kind of like the white paper for it. Satori is a Japanese Buddhist term for awakening. It is also a commonly known as enlightenment. It is called Satori because of the life-altering power of Bitcoin. Many Bitcoin users will attest that they see their lives as divided into two main periods, before understanding Bitcoin and after understanding Bitcoin. Indeed, knowing Bitcoin can dramatically change your view on what may arguably, arguably be the most important matter in life, money. Find out yourself what Bitcoin could teach you about money without the hassle of disclosing yourself, your identity to sign up for accounts and without fear of remorse for purchasing something that could potentially be an expensive mistake. Go ahead, play around. Satori lowers the initial hurdle in obtaining Bitcoin to the rock bottom for enlightenment should be attainable for everyone. So you can see that kind of goes to what I was saying earlier, what they were trying to get accomplished with this Satori chip, uh, bring it to everybody, lower the uh, risk involved. And I believe this was passed out with the, the coin, uh, like it's kind of like their white paper or their mission statement uh, came in multiple languages. And uh, this is just something else with the Satori coin. Okay. Uh, okay. So you've seen the roll, you've seen the chips. I wanted to show you just real quick here. This chip here, uh, this came off of um, the forum. I'm not sure whose chip this is. So whoever's chip this is, um, thanks for letting me use your picture. Uh, but this chip here is a slabbed ICG Satori coin. Uh, and you can see the serial number on it, 5,329. That is an early chip. So that would increase the value of this chip dramatically because of the low serial number okay so we are looking for low serial numbers pre-fork all that kind of stuff all right uh here's a picture of i believe this is a satori t-shirt that they gave out with uh like at this booth here i'm gonna pull up this booth so this was a booth in japan uh, i don't know the what kind of conference it was or what the um the deal was around it. But here in this picture, this is a booth where they're promoting Satori probably back in 2016. But if you look here at the bottom, you can see the Bitflyer coins, okay? Now these are similar to the Satori, although these are all individually different. 
Uh, they had some themes on them, and they all have the same hologram also on the back. Uh, looks just like the Satori. I'll show you some close-ups of them. But these are the Bitflyer chips, okay? There's eight of them. Uh, they are kind of the holy grail of Satori chips and uh, also for uh, super rare collectibles if you're collecting physical Bitcoin. Uh, here's just some other pictures of them. They came in multiple colors. Uh, just to talk about some of the uh, mintages on them. So it's believed that the Miss Bitcoin one, that's going to be... This one here, the Satori Miss Bitcoin coin, uh, believed to be at about 100 mintage. Only 100 of these made. And all of the serial numbers for these bit flyers are between, believed to be between uh, about 21,000 and 22,000. 20,900 around to about 22,200 of the serials that we saw, okay? So uh, all of the bit flyers are in that general range, I believe. Uh, this is the Miss Bitcoin and believed to be at about 100 mintage, okay? Here is the Satori Yellow. So now this hologram is a little different. Uh, the Satori Chip Yellow. Here is the Peeled. This one has been peeled up. Oh no, that is the same hologram there for the Satori coin. Something else too, the, um, uh, the Satori coin. Uh, hologram peeling on the back it gives you the qr code for the private key instead of the long private key on the back it is a qr code that you will scan and swipe now these are the blue zeif model blue coins for the bit flyer okay now i believe these were also at 100 mintage is what there was talk about maybe 150 now this looks like quite a bit more than that so that's a little up in the air. Why are there so many chips here if it was only minted at about 100, 150? Uh, but I've never even seen one. So um, not sure exactly how many were uh, produced. So that is the blue Zaif model, Z-A-I-F, okay? Now the other Bitflyer coins come in eight colors, and it's believed that the eight colored Bitflyer coins have a mintage of 150 each. Uh, they are the pink Miss Bitcoin, the blue. There they are there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, pink, red, yellow, green, blue, white, black, and brown. That is the full Bitflyer collection right there. Got some more more pictures of it and that's it okay so the satori bit flyer and the satori chip um great coin great release uh why did they stop making these i mean satori was around in 2016 seemed very popular definitely very popular today so what happened why did they stop uh making these things well the Japanese government uh, raided and seized all the coins. Uh, much like here in the United States, they came out and said that you could not um, trade Bitcoin on a coin. It was like printing money, similar to what they did to Cassatius and Leilana back in the day. Uh, this has been a little more, that has been lightened up on at least at this point. Uh, as Bitcoin becomes a little bit more understood. Uh, but since that, uh, they have not made any more uh, Satori coins. The company's out of business. I even reached out to Raymu Inc. and I didn't hear anything back. So um, it'll go down in history as a great coin that came out once and is an excellent collectible. Uh, to date, uh, you can find these Satori chips, not a bit flyer, but you can find the original orange, the 50,000 version on eBay, um, the 0 0.01. That equates to about $30 in Bitcoin today, all-time high of about $70. 
uh, at Bitcoin's high. And then um, these coins sell anywhere from 150, 200, all the way up to about five or 600 bucks. I've seen a lot of price variety here just based on pre-fork, post-fork, low serial, high serial, and just people just selling them high for they because they want to. So that is the Satori chip. Um, it's a great coin for sure. All right, let's wrap this up. We're going to do some shout outs and then uh, that will do it for today. Okay, uh, wrapping up this video here on the Satori chip. Gotta be one of my favorite uh, coins of the physical Bitcoin out there. It's a real cult classic kind of coin. I mean, it's got a real following, man. People love the Satori chip. Uh, it's got a high mintage, lots of coins out there, lots of uh, low price chips. So really anybody can get in with the Satori chip. It's a great place to start. If you're just looking to get into some physical Bitcoin, uh, it's been around a long time, going to continue to be around a long time. So uh, the Satori chip got to be one of my favorites out there. So uh, let's move on to shout outs. My favorite part, man. I love uh, thanking all you out there and uh, spreading the word about everybody who's contributing, buying, um, trying to spread the word themselves on physical Bitcoin and Bitcoin collectibles. Uh, the hobby keeps growing and growing. So uh, let's uh, holler out to some of our some of our boys. Uh, first off, uh, from the Cardsmiths crew, I wanted to give a shout out to the Rainbow Crew. I'm talking about the three gentlemen who have put together the only Cardsmith rainbows out there. You got You Eat Sweet Teeth put together the 1A Onyx 10 card. Beautiful set, man. Got that uh, 1A card, all silver background. Beautiful. All right, we got DSH456 put together the Red Pill Onyx 10 card rainbow. Super dope. Love that one too. And then uh, Pool Hustling. Pool Hustling was the first person to put the rainbow together, and he's got the Onyx and Diamond 11 card, number 11, the Vitalik uh, Ethereum card, 11 card rainbow. That's the only 11 card rainbow so far put together. So big shout out to them. Also with Cardsmiths, I want to thank Sidmore Art. Uh, he's the artist who did the uh, cards 12, 32, and 44, and he's been signing cards for uh, for the community. So big shout out to Sidmore Art. I actually snatched up some of his original work. Uh, super dope. A Monero piece. That's going to be hanging behind me. Probably do a video of that someday coming up. Also, Maz Adams. Matt a Maz Adams did uh, cards 42 and 43, and he's also been signing. So big shout out to them. Shout out to uh, my boy Krogoth out of New York who uh, donated that coin, that Kim L1 last video. So big shout out to Krogoth. Also, MX12 with his digital art. Slumberjack, probably the number one Bitcoin cartoonist out there. Uh, I got a bunch of his stuff. Love it. Can't wait to show you some of that. Uh, Crypto Graffiti, probably one of the most uh, well-known artists that I'm talking about right now. He's got some really impressive stuff. Uh, I got some really cool stuff from Crypto Graffiti, so I, I really want to show you that coming up. Uh, from the forum, Big Bits, Mopar, Slurfius, Steely, Dozers, uh, 5K Sana Handmade, making some handmade Bitcoin collectibles. Uh, super cool. Scarfs and quilts and stuff. 5K Sana Handmade, dropping some Bitcoin handmade stuff. Microman, Hybrid Soul. Um... I want to talk about Hero of Bitcoin. Hero of Bitcoin is the very first Bitcoin video game uh, made into a Game Boy cartridge. So the first uh, Bitcoin video game, super awesome, um, sold out. Uh, not very many made, but I got one coming. I'm going to show it to you down the road. But the first Bitcoin video game in a Game Boy cartridge. Awesome. Uh, from the forum... I mean, from uh, the Reddit, the Reddit crew, Money Shot 53, the Corgius, uh, who's going to help me out with a card this week. I appreciate you, man. C Refrigerator, who dropped some pictures from the uh, National Card Conference out of Chicago. 
A uh, big thank you for to see Refrigerator for dropping some picks. Hey, you guys, uh, Mexican Mamba and Mamba Ruski, uh, Working Estate, Big Mike, Volkswagens. Uh, we got uh, Warner Brother Productions, who's putting together his own videos, man, doing some Cardsmith box breaks. I like them, man. I appreciate that. Appreciate you. Dogecoin Revolution, Code Adam, J Slays Keto, Doobie Doobido, and Recchio Crew. So uh, I appreciate everybody, man. Uh, come check out the next video. We got some good ones coming up. And it keep cranking them out, man. You just can't get enough. So I appreciate you guys. Thanks a lot. Till next time, don't forget to like. Okay.